Most people in America are familiar with what is and isn't their lawful right to talk about. Not at all. Everyone has an opinion on some subject. But the one area of America in which there can typically be no factual opinion is human rights. Human rights govern our entire nation underneath world treaties with other nations. The abomination of American citizenry is when people who are American citizens deny other people's rights to self-actualize. Self-actualization is when an individual is allowed to be themselves but allowed to participate in life as who they are. Our rights claim many things across America, not only with our Founding Fathers' Constitution, but also with the Bill of Rights, which many people don't use very often unless they're touting it or, like me, throwing it in your face. But let's talk about our rights compared to your rights. What is your right in America? According to our Constitution, all naturally born citizens, not denizens, of America have the right to participate in life, liberty, and the pursuit of their own individual happiness. Their individual happiness does not have to make you or me happy. But their rights stop when their rights start to invade someone else's rights, motherfuckers. And that's why I'm a pagan priest. A pagan understands the violence in America. A pagan understands the hatred in Catholic houses. A pagan understands the vehemence and the vanity of feminists and lesbians that want to produce life based on their concepts of eternity. The liars of America wants to use their lines in the sand to say, I can run in and out of your rights, but you can't come into mine. And that's a lie they tell themselves. You see, my rights were abused by many people in my life. My late spouse, who is no longer with me, never violated my rights in our home, in our relationship, in our bedroom, or in our business. But other people who were participants or guests or customers or clients of my business often violated my rights. Now, how could those men and women do that? Well, by lying about who they were to me in business, possibly. But I also did plenty of referring other people to other businesses. You see, when I get approached by someone that I've assessed in my evaluation process, my standard customer qualification process of who is not right for me, I refer them elsewhere. At the same time, the native Japanese language school that is there for the visitors of America to teach their children their language, their sciences, their mathematics in their own native language would refer other people, predominantly white people, and other people of other color wanting to go to their school, thinking that's where they could learn, to me, which meant that my program was regarded enough by native Japanese. 